Okay. Welcome back, everybody, to more Worms Reloaded between a Death Wish 808 and a load of crap. And this set of matches was played on the 23rd of May. And today we are starting off in a cave environment with worms pretty evenly spread with uh, enough carnage around all of them so let's see what death wish and a load of crap can get up to with these shenanigans death wish here to start us off on the right hand side of the map and there is a lot of carnage and uh, items around the worms i don't think a load of crap has anything directly of uh catastrophe that cause catastrophe sorry around him. Deathwish here is going to have to do a panic shot. He's only got five left on the clock. Can he hit the barrel and cause some big damage? Well, he does. The mine rattles around. But I think it's missed. No, nope, there we go. The mine rattled around and eventually found its way to a load of crap. Was there enough off the fire barrel? I don't think the fire barrel did any damage there to a load of crap. So he just manages to cling on with 16 hit points. And a very good opening shot there from Deathwish 808. And it is now a load of crap's worms turn to have a bit of retaliation on the worm. But I don't think you're going to make your way through that gap. Nor do I think you're going to be able to to backflip your way up on that ledge a load of crap so you're going to have to try something different in this instance and looks like we're going to go for a grenade possibly a straight up retaliation shot on the worm and just that just inflicted the damage there so let's see we're down to almost 15 on the shot clock grenade is up with a five second timer and sits pretty nice to the side of deathwish 808 and uh one less than maximum damage, but not sure a lot else I know crap could have done there without jeopardizing worms in the middle. So a couple of good opening shots there from each. Deathwish taking the upper hand as of uh, the early standings. And you're going to want to think that uh, given the last couple of matches, Deathwish is really going to want to sort of get back at a load of crap. A load of crap has been on form and been taking the majority of the wins lately. As Deathwish floats a nice little rocket shot over, Worm lands directly on a mine, blows up a barrel as well. Some big, big damage. He did cause damage to his worm down below, but we are still yet to lose a worm. A load of crap has two in one hit range, though, and Deathwish, with that uh, mine bounce off the top of that roll of turf there, takes him down to a one-shot kill as well. Back with a load of crap here. Wind is against him, so... He hasn't got far to go to hit that worm. I just don't think it's uh, going to be a bazooka shot, though. I may be wrong. There we go. He swaps it out to the grenade. Short timer and just try and float it on top of this brolly is what I think we will see here. It's gone a little bit too high. Does manage to get some radius damage there on the worm. 13 hit points taken away from it. But, yeah, just slightly too high there. A little bit too much power. Sometimes and we're now back we're with Deathwish on this left-hand side here. This worm is very much isolated, and I think we can see what's going to happen here. It's going to be a straight bazooka shot down to the bottom right. Uh, doesn't actually able to get the shot just underneath the brolly, and the, the brolly took a lot of the damage there and saved a load of crap in uh, some respects. But I think could be that worm to go next. Let's see. With my abacus. It is indeed, and I think we're going to see some shenanigans with these mines on the left-hand side here. If he can drop Deathwish's worm down, or even just dislodge those mines, you got to think Deathwish could actually lose a worm here. Let's see how it pans out. We're going for the bazooka. The wind is not really doing a lot, so it's not going to affect the shot too much. To bring the mines into play, they're going to want to drop him down. And unfortunately, Deathwish manages to stay on top, and that probably actually gives Deathwish a bit of a, a better vantage point with that worm. He was very much on a, a narrow ledge with not a lot of room for movement, but certainly now he's uh, not so close to the edge, and he can hopefully get some better angles on a load of crap here as we are back with the bottom left-hand worm. Grenade shots only with this one, though, because of the wind being against him. Do you think he's got the right angle? I think we'll probably see about a three-second timer on this. Doesn't want it to roll around and bounce too much. And uh, 
Maybe he was trying to go for a bit of a round on the golf balls there to flick it in the path of a load of crap, but came up a little bit short for the golf balls and wasn't able to capitalise on that shot as we move now back to the right-hand side of the map here. And a load of crap's worm. May have a bazooka shot here on Deathwish's 87 worm. Could potentially send him flying into the path of mine if he could get enough um, momentum on the shot here. But let's see what he can do. He's got a it's about momentum. He's got to get the angle right as well. Deathwish might Deathwish worm might just be set a little bit too far to the right though to make it fly too far to the left. But the shot's up. He hits the mine. Flows the mine into the puff there of Deathwish um, and it bounces causes three hit points of damage as it bounces away but ultimately a uh, pretty disappointing shot there from Leonard Crap sure he's not going to be very happy with that indeed and Deathwish now has the opportunity to uh, reduce this down to a four on three and taking out the first worm of the match switching to the bazooka because the wind is with him easy shot doesn't really have to be anywhere near and the worm just slides away. I think he's just slid away from the 16 worm there, just out of range of the death animation. Does indeed, because if that had stayed, if the, the worm had stuck or it had landed the left hand side of that 16 worm, a load of crap would have actually lost two worms. Which uh, I wasn't expecting at the start of the shot, but Deathwish then, with the early advantage from the worm side of view, with a four. Worm to three advantage is a load of crap now. We'll be back on this right hand side with his grenades. Uh, I wonder if he'll just try and time this right and try and drop one in that hole. I think probably a two second timer and not a lot of power. And then hopefully, as it's just dropping down, it will catch Deathwish's worm. But it's all about the power and the angle here. Wasn't quite able to clear the golf shoe. But uh, those uh, pixels have been manoeuvred, and that worm will get to have another shot at Death Wishes before that 12 worm of Death Wishes gets to have another turn. So watch this space. Did a load of crap, or will a load of crap be able to learn from that first shot as we're back here in the middle? And Death Wish opt in for grenades here. I think he's going to be able to dislodge this mine up the top, so watch that mine carefully. No, actually not. The radius of that explosion wasn't quite far enough to dislodge the mine, but maximum damage shot from Deathwish, so you can't ask for much more than that. Now we're going to see a retaliation from that worm. Oh, crap has got the wind, so he doesn't really have to get too far out of here. I think he's going to swap to the bazooka. He does indeed. Just a nice little floated shot up into the air. And uh, we could see if he can send him flying. Does indeed. But, uh, not quite far enough to the left, unfortunately, though, to hit that mine. But definitely knocks him off his perch. And a good chunk of damage has been done by a load of crap. Who uh, is now going to come under fire here from Deathwish. Can he readjust that angle from the previous shot? He can indeed. Don't think the explosion barrel, though, would have um, caught any uh, harm to a load of crap's worm. And ultimately, only 15 hit points of damage it is relatively disappointing, you have to say, especially when it was such a direct shot. But I do feel like Deathwish was trying to bring the explosive barrel into play to capitalize and uh, make even more damage here. So a load of crap's going to go back to the high worm here. Can he drop him down on the second attempt uh, into the path of these mines and cause some real carnage? He's swipping, uh, swipping. He's switching to a grenade, so maybe he's not going for the high target. Maybe he's uh, going for the low one instead. With 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Still got plenty of time to sort out what he wants to do here. It's up, but it's behind. So, yeah, and he's going to send the worm flying a little bit too much, but I think that's going to have done it. It has. The fall damage has uh, really helped a load of crap out there. And he's leveled the playing th field now with a three-on-three three scenario. It was, like I say, it was, it was, I couldn't really tell whether or not he wanted to bring those mines into play as Deathwish floats another grenade in the air. And much like the previous attempt with that worm, it just falls dead short of the balls and doesn't really do much. But there was a couple of options there for a load of crap, like I was saying. The grenade being one of them. 
But uh, Bazooka Shot may have dropped the worm down into Path of Those Mines, which could in turn have knocked the mines down to the 100 worm in bottom left for Deathwish 808 and could have caused some serious damage. So Lord Crank now gets another attempt with this, and he's gone a little bit too high this time, so wasn't able to capitalize. And now Deathwish with that worm, who was just under attack from a load of crap, now gets to go. Can he capitalize and bring it to a three on two? It's going to be a grenade shot from this distance. Possibly the same sort of tactics with a two second timer and just try and float it in nicely. Not too much power. Nice shot. And there we go. The worm is out. And we are back to a three on two in Deathwish 808's favor. Maybe he's uh, really coming out of the starting blocks fighting this time and doesn't want to uh, lose another series of maps to a load of crap. We're now back in the center with a load of crap here. His 55 worm. Went slightly with him. He could throw a grenade and just try and get one in between that bottle and that ledge on the far left there. I don't think he's going to attack the... Uh, worm closest to him on the left because he has run the risk of damaging himself but uh, just unfortunately falls up short will the mine get kicked up and over it doesn't two of them have come into play though just can't quite clear that lip if the the worms would have cleared the lip certainly would have um, been interesting for death show to wait and that worm may have uh, met its end but the lucky mine rolls saved the day although he did manage to pull off 15 hit points of damage there as Deathwish is doing his acrobatics here to move away from a load of crab's worm. Which one is he going to attack? Looks like he's going to go for the one directly to his left, but it would have to be a grenade. I think if he shot it with a bazooka, he's actually too close to that worm and would inflict a bit of damage on himself. So let's see. Probably a five second just to give it plenty of time to settle here. Doesn't want too much power though if he's going to throw it straight down, but he's not. He's opting to go straight up and it's only a two second, so didn't want it to sit around too much. It just bounces away a little bit too far to the left and wasn't able to get maximum damage as his uh, worm on the far left there is sub subjected to some of the fire debris. And does a bit of a fire dance, losing some more hit points there, but still 30. 30 odd damage is still not a bad shot as we now return to a load of crap. Doesn't quite have one hit range here, but if, uh, let's see what he can do. I think he wants to try and bring these mines into play again. Wind is with him just for a nice little floated uh, bazooka shot here. I would probably opt for a grenade, which he does switch back to. Two seconds on the shot clock. That's uh, right on the timer for the grenade, not the shot clock. 20 seconds on the shot clock. And he's uh, just sorting his angles. He's actually gone back to the bazooka. Interesting. It's 10 on the clock. He's really got to hurry this around. He's going to be starting to panic if he's not careful. And good shot. I could see what he was going for. He was just trying to hit the left-hand side of that worm in an attempt to sort of you get the momentum to push it towards the right and those mines. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. And uh, Deathwish now is able to work on the retaliation a well-placed grenade shot here would inflict damage possibly to his own worm but could also take this to a three on one as a load of craps uh, left hand worm there is within one hit range it has to be a pretty perfect shot though if he wants to remove this worm from the game two seconds on the timer it comes down perfectly positioned right next to that worm and we are three on one in favor of Deathwish 808 only took 10 damage on himself so he'll be quite pleased that um, it wasn't more but now all eyes are on a load of crap to see what he is able to do in retaliation to events. A minute, I think there is probably only one worm he can reliably attack here, and that would be the worm on the far right-hand side, unless he thinks he can get... Uh, an angle on this grenade that would come up and straight back down but no he does opt to go to the other one and uh, he's just actually taken both of those mines out of play and opened up a nice little swimming pool there for that worm on the far right so isolating that worm in that maneuver there as Deathwish now has his most isolated worm on the right hand side here 
doesn't really have any direct shots so wind is with him so he could attempt here to put one in the sky and the wind will maneuver it uh, towards the left hand side potentially attacking the um let's say attacking that ledge underneath where that bottle is and open up a line of attack but unfortunately catches the uh, scenery directly above him and opens up a bit of a better angle for the next shot but doesn't particularly help him at the moment that's uh, a load of crap now with his solitary worm potentially looking to readjust just from the previous shot see what he can do differently he's gone two seconds this time can't afford to to roll it around i think he might be going for the 38 this time though yep it's up and down and uh, just gets caught on some pixels at the top of that opening there. And I think that saved Deathwish's worm right there. So he manages to get away with it. But Deathwish now has a clear path on top of that brolly. And uh, you've got to think that the uh, assault is coming here. What will he do with the mine? We often see Deathwish triggering the mines and moving away. Will he do that or will he just opt for the damage? I think it's going to be the latter. He's not going to try and bring the mine into play. So he's uh, now backing up and just going to change his options here. Fifteen on the clock. One second timer. Nice shot from Deathwish. The mine is rolling. There's some fire damage as well, and a load of crap is going to be really close to death here. Only twelve hit points on that worm remain. And uh, you've got to think now, it's only a matter of time before Deathwish can take the first match of this series. However, this is Worms and anything can happen from here. We've certainly seen uh, some epic comebacks in the past. Can a load of crap dig deep now and reach for one of them? I think it's going to be a bazooka shot underneath this brolly and uh, see if the radius and splatter damage here can inflict enough damage on it. Ran back I think it's well within a load of crap's uh, range here to bring it down to a one versus one scenario as he <laughs> takes three quarters of that worm's health away, 15 down to five. So all worms are within a one shot uh, kill range. Oh my god, I'm gonna. A load of crap's worm, though, in the middle is quite sheltered by a lot of these pixels here. So I just wonder what Deathwish is going to do here. He's going to have to take one over the top of the brolly and hope it comes down enough. It just rolls away. Unfortunately, that wasn't a bad effort from Deathwish. It just got a little bit too much bounce up from that, um, that, uh, that roll of turf, or what's left of the roll of turf. If only it had been a little bit of a shallower, a, a steeper angle, I think he may have found a load of crap there. Whether or not the grenade would have sat and he would have been able to um, have actually done anything else and, and taken the worm out is another question. But good effort as now a load of crap is going to try and cause some damage through the wall here. Only six and actually takes five damage off his own worm. So reducing it now to seven doesn't, of course, uh, quite critically, doesn't make an opening, though, for Deathwish to shoot through and do the counterattack. So Deathwish with this worm here still has to sort of play around and try and get some Plinko shots in. Also um, in favor of a load of crap as the grenade just sits high on the turf there and opens up some more of that uh, uh, area so the area of assault for a load of crap is opening up but uh, interestingly as well because that worm has now moved position for a load of crap Deathwish's um, previous shot from the 42 on the the far left there is going to need to readjust the angles before they take the shot so whatever Deathwish would have learned previously is uh, no longer going to be valid knowledge as a load of crap here opting for bazooka it's already been grenade from here, it is indeed. Five seconds just to give it enough time to roll around and settle. Doesn't need too much of an angle though. Just take your time. Think that's too much. No, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So it brought it down to a two on one. And as I said, I think it's well within a load of crap's uh, capabilities here to bring it down to a one versus one. Although it all depends on what this worm is capable of doing here as Deathwish is scaling this, the remnants of this umbrella. 
And uh, unfortunately, I think this is going to be curtains for a load of crap as Deathwish is about to take the first. I don't think he will even care too much about killing his own worm from the splatter damage if it comes to it. Is he going to... Is he going to play the showboating game? Ten left on the clock. He's going for the grenade. He's going for the showboat. Not taking the easy option. Deathwish has a habit of doing this, but uh, there we go. Overkill on the grenade, onto the mine, and a load of crap is out of the game. Deathwish takes the first match. He's really brought his game today. Let's see what he can do in the next. On to match number two, and we've got ourselves a pond match for match number two here, with worms evenly spread on the both sides of the map. However, there does seem to be a lot more barrels and mines and goodies on that left-hand side. So, let's see how this plays out with a load of crap to go first here. Surely going to be attacking the bottom left worm. And trying to take that out of the game straight away. It's a nice and quick shot there. Wasn't able to take it out. The mine does go and the barrel does. But Deathwish 808's worm there on the left-hand side has its suction cups out. And in the end, was only able to take 26 damage. Not... Uh, sort of shot you would expect when you've got uh, good wind and a bazooka and a worm positioned around there with some barrels and mines. However, Deathwish now in retaliation here. He's got a, interestingly, he's got a grenade out. He's going to try and take out the worm on his own side. An interesting choice and uh, results in a suicide for Deathwish 808. A load of crap taking the early advantage there of a four on three and uh, still some fire in play though on the left hand side of the map and a sizable chunk of damage there on a load of crafts worm 61 health points i think see what death wish was trying to do there he was trying to make a load of crafts worm fly far to the right and into the water however totally backfired on him and he was the one to go flying into the water as a load of crap opts to jump rope and skip his go the fire's not out yet, though. It may still come oh into play. Goodness, Just watch this good. space. I know, it's so irritating. Which is uh, worm here is in a very precarious position. He's going to try and uh, level the playing field as early as he can. And that worm is in the drink, so it is back to three on three. Is the fire going to drop on the left? It sure is. And uh, some big fire damage there. It actually sends low crats worm quite high. But then straight back down again. The fire should be extinguished though. So I think a load of crap is safe now from that fire. He now has free reign to manoeuvre about here. And uh, you've got to assume we're going to see a shot on bottom or right here. Sorry. Didn't know my right from left for a moment. But yeah. Or is he going to attempt a grenade shot cross map? I don't know if he's looked at the wind because... Yeah, the wind was totally against him, and it has completely backfired there. Dropped his worm down onto those golf balls with Deathwish's worm. Did manage to survive the drink, though, in this instance, but uh, I don't know, it was almost like a load of crap. Didn't take notice of the three wind against him there. But uh, Deathwish here is going to certainly scale this golf shoe here. Oh, come on. And uh, you got to think... The master of manoeuvring is going to be putting a bazooka shot straight across the map. That worm is dead. Oh God, dead. Death, death animation will inflict a little bit of damage on that worm of a load of craps. And uh, doesn't quite open up a gap there between that 61 and 74 worm. There is some pixels that remain, so... It's not. It may look like it, but it, there is no clear shot between those two worms, which is quite interesting. Will a load of crap here just opt to uh, commit suicide here and take out his own worm? No, he is going for the high shot. I think he'll try and catch, if he can, that barrel that's just towards the back of that golf shoe, if he's going to go for that shot. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. I think he's opting not to do that. I think he's going to take the suicide yeah, instead and uh, take out Deathwish's worm in the process. 
Yep, he almost got lucky there with the the shot. It, it could have landed him on that like steep ledge on the right hand side, but his worm opted not to use the suction cups in this uh, in this instance, and we are down to a two on one now in a death wish's favour. And you got to think this one is going to be wrapped up real soon. And uh, Deathwish is looking very good here to take his second victory of the series. Bazooka shot, I think, is going to be the best here from below. I know it's going to open up an opportunity for a load of crap to retaliate, but 10 only left on the shot clock. Deathwish needs to hurry this along. Seems like he's running down the shot clock, but there was a bit of extra fall damage there, and Deathwish wisely brings his worm away from the edge. Although I think a well-placed grenade uh, shot here would still make him fly campus. up and over. Uh, I might have a shot at actually staying. really needs to jump down there and out of the way. I don't know that he's cleared. I think he's cleared the radius. Not quite, but the shot does indeed knock Deathwish's worm into the air and we're down to a one-on-one -on -one scenario here. 100 plays 12. Deathwish, you got to think, with wind and the high ground, is going to be able to wrap this one up relatively quickly. Pops to you to Bazooka, and there we go. Went a little bit too high, but 20 damage is more than enough. And Deathwish currently leads the series 2-0. I stayed on the barrel just in case I miss it. And that, that was Time for match action. number three no, and no, 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 another was. pond match, it seems, with not quite as even spread as before. We have three for a load of crap on the right to Death Wishes 2, and a load of crap has got a worm which is trapped in and it's first to go, and quite rightly, he chooses just to jump rope the go. Yeah, so again, it's a, it's, a, it's a map of two halves here. We've got one side which is very heavily populated with explosive barrels, whereas the other one seems to have quite a few mines around it. So it'll be interesting to see the uh, the approaches each player takes here. As Deathwish, as with the last match here, is going to attack his own side, interestingly. And as you can see, that's caused quite a bit of fire damage for that worm of his on the far right uh, left. Um, 69 damage though for a load of craps worm, but Deathwish isn't out of the woods yet because there is still some fire right above that worm's glass helmet. So we just got to watch out there and see what happens uh, momentarily with that as a load of crap now gets a chance of retaliation. But because of the mines on this right hand side, you can't really maneuver around a lot. I would say he's going to go for a grenade shot here, try and place the grenade just behind the worm and make it fly off into the drink. Two seconds on the timer. Bye-bye. So whether or not he can just get it high enough, it just land on the worm's head, and uh, the worm actually meets the uh, mine as they both land in the water at the same time, and a load of crap with the early advantage here on taking a four-on-three lead. Deathwish now on the bottom right-hand side of the map. Doesn't really, I don't think, want to attack the worm. That is on the sports drink there. I may be wrong, but let's see what he's going for here. I think he's just going straight down, roll it down. And uh, wasn't able to create a swimming pool for that worm, but definitely isolates that worm to the angles and the shots that he can make so effectively a load of crap has got two isolated worms here which he can't really utilize too much at the moment the fire goes out on the left hand side and Deathwish's worm was able to survive but a load of crap opting here to attack from below and the splatter damage should shut off the barrel it does indeed and a death wish heads to the drink and is now four on two in a load of crap's favor. He's uh, really come out of this one strong and uh, wants to certainly doesn't want to take another beating from death wish. Load of crap's been on such good form in recent matches. Death wish has been the one that struggled, but he's seemingly turning things around uh, as of late. We're going to see a grenade shot here. Now, is he going to go for the, the high worm or the low worm here on the right? Could go for either. 
It's going to be the low one. Can he create a swimming pool now for that worm to sit in? He can indeed, and it's now a three on two. Good shot from Deathwish. Had a couple of options there. He could have gone high and tried to put the grenade behind the 100 worm on top of the brolly in an attempt to th throw it over into the drink. But I think that was a safer option for removing a worm, definitely creating a swimming pool there and getting it to move. And uh, you got to think that a load of crap here is going to make an assault on the worm sat on this bottle. Or is he? He's moved its worm all the way over to the left-hand side. So I think we're going to see it come down to a three-on-one. Sorry. Yeah. No. Two-on-one. Three-on-one. What am I talking about? Three-on-one. Three-on-one scenario. There we go. Deathwish is really on the back foot on this one. What can he do to pull it back, if anything at all? He can certainly bring it down to a two-on-one with this shot. Doesn't really have to do anything special here. There we go. Two on one activated. And now Deathwish will have the advantage for a little bit for the time being. He will have this worm having two shots to a load of craps worm having one. It's given that he has that isolated worm right there and it's that worm who's turn it is next. Will he just jump rope it or will he try and make an escape? I think for the time being, it would probably be prudent to just jump rope and let Deathwish do the hard work. Let him come to you. You've got the high ground. You've got two worms to his one. So, yeah, definitely make Deathwish do the work there. Don't make it easy for him. It's uh, definitely be my approach there. As much as you don't like to just jump rope your worms, as two-second timer flies across and bounces off the brolly. But unfortunately can't be used to capitalize or make any inroads on the uh, worm's health there on the right hand side of the map and we'll be back with a load of crap now what can he do he could try a similar shot here if he could get the grenade anywhere on the left hand side he does have the option of propelling death wishes worm into the drink he might he's it looks like he's opting to use the bazooka here I think it's going to come too low, and it yeah, certainly does, but he's taken out a good chunk of that area below Deathwish's worm, so if Deathwish is to sort of start sliding or falling down that right-hand side, it may be a case that he's got nothing to cling on to, and it might be a game over. Deathwish retaliating there, a bit more power on it this time, and this time he actually bounces up, and uh, the grenade goes too high in this instance, unfortunately, for him. So still not able to make inroads, but he's he's done one short and one long. So can he find the right balance on the next shot to actually make some damage? Let's see. The wind has changed though, so he's going to opt for a bazooka this time. Nicely arced shot and. The mine flies into the water, goes out of play, and the crap swim actually drops down here to the right-hand side of that brolly. So it's going to make the future shots harder. Definitely, if Deathwish has to switch out to a grenade, he's not going to have... Um, there's not really too much of a flatter surface, so there is like a little arch there where he could potentially kick it up. And uh, we're going to see a grenade shot this time from a load of crap because wind is really against him. So, will he try and get one behind Deathwish's worm on the left to propel it into the water, or will he try another attack? I think he's going to try and go behind. Nice little kick up, and there we go. Fantastic shot to end this match from a load of crap. The series is back to two on one. Deathwish still in the lead, but uh, can anything happen as we head into a final match here in this series? Can a load of crap bring it back to 2-2? Two -two? All right, so here we go. It is hero or zero time for a load of crap. Can he tie the series or will Deathwish take it three and one? But uh, it's a final pond map, third pond map of the series. And we don't always get a lot of pond maps. It is completely random as to what you get. But uh, pond maps are preferable between uh, our little worms community. We do kind of like the cross map shenanigans. Definitely Carnage in shoes as Deathwish is uh, high worm there. Manages to just move enough to the left there and avoid a watery grave or a watery end. 
however you want to put it. Um, so a load of crap there. Probably not going to be happy too much with that shot, but I think you've got to think Deathwish here is going to take a cross map bazooka. He's too much of an opportunity to miss up with maximum wind here. Can he move the worms over to the left hand side? He can. Closer to the barrel. But uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Good chunk of damage taken from each, but I think he would have probably liked a little bit more. But two for is a two for at the end of the day. So looking at the early worm positionings here, Deathwish has two high worms, which are pretty much. Um, isolated, and you have to think a load of crap is going to drop them straight into the drink as er at his earliest opportunity, which would uh, definitely give him a nice four on two advantage. Well, there goes the first one to take it to a four on three. The only thing he's got to be worried here is, I was just about to say, is if Deathwish's higher right worm gets to play, which it does now. They're right next to the explosive barrel. I think we're going to see some big damage here. Let's see how this plans out. And uh, actually, not how we thought. The mine, <laughs> the mine actually causes the damage in the end. It was bouncing around. It was a bit hit and miss as to whether or not it was going to go off. Three second timer on that mine as it bounces around, but just manages to catch that explosive barrel. Sends one worm to the left, one worm to the right. A load of crap has lost one. We're down to three on three, and his other worm is uh, on a very low one-hit uh, area there. So it's advantage Deathwish at the moment. Although you have to think that uh, Deathwish's high 67 worm there isn't going to last much longer. His load of crap is determined here that he's going to get on this bottle. I don't think it's going to happen. He's halfway through the shot clock. Now you can do it. Trust me. I guarantee These two are quite expert when it comes are experts of manoeuvring. And he, he finally manages to get up there, but then he's straight back down. Only five left, almost five left on the clock here. He's just going to have to do a panic shot here. It might even be worthwhile just to, yeah. I was going to say, with such little time on the clock, it would it's, it's not even worth like attempting anything because you chances are... The shot would have uh, landed on top of that roll of turf where his other worm is. And uh, the results would have probably been quite catastrophic. As uh, Deathwish now. I'm going to try a cross map grenade toss. Let's see if he can bring this mine and barrel into play here against this worm. Three seconds on the timer. Comes down just nicely at the end there. Great shot from... Deathwish, even though he has left a little bit of fire above that uh, worm of his on the left hand side, but yeah, great shot from Deathwish. The timing was just absolutely spot on for that shot, but you have to assume here. Now, will a load of crap take the easy shot, or will he take the explosive barrel on the left hand side? I think he's going to take the easy shot, which is probably the one I would take. And he brings it back to a two-on-two. Two. Advantage Deathwish still, though. This load of crap does have a worm in play, which is within one hit kill. Deathwish is going to look to reduce it to a two-on-one advantage in his favor with this shot here. Wind is with him, so it's going to be a bazooka shot across the map. Just needs to get the angle correct. He's checking everything out. Watch that fire, though. That fire drops on that barrel. Deathwish is in big trouble. The, there we go. The shot is on, and that worm is out of here. Deathwish now with two worms. Two, a load of craps, one. There may be a little element of some chess here as well. Let's wait and see. As a load of crap is now going to have to try and get on this bottle once again. Let's see if he can have any better look than he did the previous attempt. Not looking too good for him at this moment in time, though. On the previous attempt, he was trying and trying and trying, and then he just seemed to do it effortlessly. But uh, this time, doesn't seem to be able to get on that ledge. And I uh, don't know, I think he needs to really just stop attempting to get up there and see if he can actually uh, make a shot here. He's giving himself more time to line up a shot, at least this time. He's got more than five seconds, but he doesn't have a worm there to worry about too much. I think a grenade shot just down where these barrels could open up a bit of uh, 
room here, but no, that was a really good shot and extra mine damage as well. I wonder if he would attack the barrels and mines directly to below him, but no, very good shot from a load of crap. A big, big damage as well around all of those mines and barrels, and Deathwish now has one worm, which has been reduced to within one hit kill. What can Deathwish do from here, though? He's got to play some across map shenanigans here and hope that his Plinko shots are on point tonight. It's up and over, and not a bad shot at all. Not a bad shot at all. As the uh, manages to catch the barrel, opens up, though, some uh, interesting lines of sight, and a bit of fire manages to find its way to his 18 worm. Now, did enough... No, there wasn't enough. I, I was wondering how many times he'd hit the fire. You, you endure three hit points of damage each time. And it, to me, it looked like he'd hit it more than twice, but I, I guess not. The game knows best. But uh, we have some now direct lines of sight open, and a load of crap doesn't need to worry anymore about... Jumping on top of that bottle as it is no longer in play. It's been absolutely decimated and we're going to see a cross map bazooka shot. Can he create uh, some movement on that worm to drop it into the water? It's come up a little bit short but he created a swimming pool and we're down to one on one. Can you believe it? The tide has turned and it is in a load of craps favor. 100 plays, uh, sorry, 90 plays 12. I forgot that that worm had taken some damage. What can Deathwish do from here? He is really on the back foot. A load of craps worm is not within a one hit kill range here. So Deathwish needs to make the shot and then get safe. But uh, he catches some pixels and doesn't put that worm safe, interestingly. That worm is right on the edge here, so it is advantage a load of crap. He has got everything in his court at the minute to level this off 2v2. Let's see what he is able to do. All the fire has been extinguished. You've got to think he's just going to make his way over towards the edge and just drop a grenade or a nice little bazooka shot onto Deathwish here. Is he going to jump across? No, he's not. I think he is going to attempt a uh, grenade shot here. He's going high. Don't know if he's toying with him. He's trying some different angles. He hasn't switched to a grenade yet, though. Does he think that the wind will push it down enough? And uh, enough to sort of kill him with that bazooka. Only 15 left on the shot clock, though. Really needs to uh, be a bit decisive here and make his decision. He finally switches to a grenade, but... Yeah, I, I just think he took too much time there. He could have really wrapped everything up there. But shows his uh, indecision there has really... Uh, Sort of put pay to that. Now, Deathwish has an opportunity here to bring that worm within one hit kill range. What is he going to do here? Bringing this worm inside, though, isn't really going to give him any sort of advantage. I think he's just realized that. Don't really know where to position it, but he's going to have to attack from this side and then bring his worm to the left for his best chance of survival, you have to think. Five seconds on the time, so he's going to give it this grenade enough time to sort of roll around, but there we go. He's bringing it in. Not quite maximum damage, but he has opened up a line of sight. There is some pixels that a load of crap will have to be careful of, but I think he has enough of a line of sight here to attack the debris and the uh, radius and splatter damage from a bazooka shot here, I think will kill Deathwish's worm. There is definitely a line of sight there. It's whether or not he is brave enough to choose that line of sight. He is going for it. There it is. He lined it up. It's uh, not enough. A load of crap may be dead. In a bizarre twist of events, he is dead. <laughs> Can you believe it? I did not see that one coming at all. I honestly thought there was enough room there for the shot to go through with the bazooka. There wasn't, and what that did was damage the worm and then dropped it down onto the mine, which completely finished it off. Deathwish with the shock victor here of the final match. He takes the series three and one. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed that exciting climax to the match. We'll be back real soon with some more Worms Reloaded. But until then, thank you very much. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care. Enjoy your day. And happy gaming.